Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I am um, Dr. Madeline, your tarot reader and energy healer. So nice to have you here, Water Signs, for your reading for January 31st through February 6th. And for that time, I would like to take a look at uh, three cards in the spread. The first one is the uh, strengths that you're bringing to the situation. The second is what your heart is uh, guiding you in the situation. And the third is the challenges that you are facing. And today I would like to ask about your uh, financial abundance for this coming time period. So um, looking at your financial abundance water signs, let's take a look at those three things. So um, I started with energies from the uh, Mystic Shaman Oracle. And in that, in that deck, um, you got two cards that go in a row, 56 and 57. And so this is a Thunder and the Time Master. And so Thunder has to do with really feeling in your heart and soul the change, the growth, you know, where you're going in your life. Kind of that, that moment of knowing um, and of, you know, it talks about letting go of the uh, drama of your life or the drama of others' lives and just, you know, barreling forward into the life that you're meant to live. And the uh, Time Master has to do with uh, standing still in that, in that time and in that moment of time. And as you stand in the time of clarity, uh, you find that time is infinite. And so uh, being in the moment, uh, whether it's in meditation or in mindfulness, be in the moment at hand uh, with the things that are present and evident to you, you'll find that you have all the time in the world. And so it kind of has the two different energies, water signs, you know, the quick, quick movement and speed in your life and the uh, standing still and knowing that no matter what is happening, um, you have all the time that you need. So as we begin the reading, uh, let's take a look at these um, energies and ask for divine guidance. Okay, water signs. So I'm going to put some uh, Reiki energy into the deck. And we'll ask for those uh, three cards. It does not want to shuffle. doesn't want to shuffle. Uh, these are the Native American deck. So let's see where we are drawn. Okay, so the first is the, uh, the, the strength that you have in the situation. It's the polygamy, uh, the five of swords, and then the um, what your heart is telling you, warrior of pipes, warrior of um, which is the uh, Knight of Wands. Um, then we go into the Eight of Pentacles, the Sand Painter. So we have, that is the challenge. So underneath the underlying energy is the number 11. So I recommend you look up the number 11 and see how that may be. Um, directing you at this time. It's the Justice card. It has to do with the Libra energy of the balancing, but also of the uh, justice in your life. So for some of you, there may be some kind of a court situation going on this week, uh, water signs, or something to do with uh, the court. And if that's the case, uh, you are going to um, do well there. And it's going to be a good place for you to be because of this card coming up. I'm being drawn to like all these different um, elements. You know, a couple different um, poles and we have kind of a, 
interestingly, is it a dressed man or I'm not sure here as well. So I feel like there's a lot of uh, formality here and um, ancientness. And so um, this week with its, um, you know, with the, the concept of abundance for this week, uh, there are some things, the factors that will come in that have to do with um, ancient abundance. So that could be um, inheritance or uh, things coming into your life uh, that you're kind of a um, unexpected balancing. So the, the strength that's coming into you is accepting and being willing to accept that a lot of the problems that you're facing right now are of your own making. So the polygamy card is about a man who chooses to marry more than one wife. And in this culture, it was an okay thing to do. But you need to be aware of the fact that the wives may fight, they may be jealous. And it's a lot harder to be a man married to multiple women. So the, you know, the advantage is that um, men have a tendency to um, really appreciate variety. And so certainly he'll have a lot of variety, he'll have a lot of help in the home. But the disadvantage is that he's kind of created an environment that's a lot harder to live in. And so the strength that you have coming to you right now is a willingness to accept that some of the decisions that you have made financially have put you in the situation you're in today. So if you are in a, a great situation, you know, the things that you have been manifesting into your life have been a good thing. On the other hand, water signs, you know, if you're, you know, uh, if, if this uh, justice thing is like filing bankruptcy or having a lot of stresses and strains in your life, you're the only one that can really take responsibility for that because you're the one that made the choices in your life. And so the uh, the heart is, is calling you toward uh, more of a passionate approach to life. So um, the... The Knight of the Knight of Wands um, can be related to uh, physical passion, emotional passion, mental passion, and really bringing a lot of speed. You can see his speed, passion, fire element, and it's interesting that this is breaking, and it's kind of like um, he's having to break. Uh, break away from some things that have been binding him to find this uh, passion in his life. And so even though some of the choices may have put you in a situation that you aren't quite as happy with, you know, you have the, your heart is saying, this is your opportunity to grab onto your passions a lot stronger and move forward with those. And so as you do that, the obstacle or the challenge is going to be your job. So the uh, Eight of Pentacles has to do with the job, working hard, uh, making good money at your career. So maybe that you're losing your career or your career isn't what you thought it would be. And with this, you know, painting, you know, sand painting happening where these different colors of sand are being brought together in this beautiful kind of a creative element. It could be that there's not enough creativity in your job because you are being called to more creativity. So there may be that, and it could be that your perception of your job is that there's not as much creativity. So he only used two colors here, the red and the black, but yet there's so many colors here that could be used. And so it could be that he's limiting he or she's limiting their abilities and their creativity in their job. So uh, one of the challenges that you have is to bring more uh, creativity, spontaneity, and happiness into your current job or over time to be finding a job that is more uh, suited to your abilities. So um, this is a really great reading, Water Science. I mean, it's very, it's really quite clear that the situation that you're in 
which may be a legal one, is kind of something you have caused. And the more you're willing to accept that, the, the more you'll be able to move forward in life with the uh, with your heart, following your heart into uh, greater passions and creativity. And as you do that, things within your job will change um, in this uh, abundance, financial abundance reading. So when we take a look at the first card, polygamy, let's see, uh, why is the card here? So I like to use uh, these cards I'm using are the uh, Shadowscapes. This one is the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is kind of the one where the guy's holding all the pentacles on his lap and trying not to drop any of them. In this case, you know, he's, he's sitting in this beautiful flower, still holding on for all his life, um, not wanting anything to fall away. And so it could be that part of the decisions you made were to not be as open as you need to be in your life. Um, and or that maybe not, or that you didn't budget as well as you should, that you didn't hold those things in. So I kind of see this card as the, uh, the minor Virgo card, uh, the person who's able to uh, manage things and keep things under control. And so again, the uh, strength, the strength that you have, um, you know, is, is understanding better how to manage and control your pentacles. And that's kind of the first step. And then um, your heart is calling you to um, the queen of swords. So your heart is calling you to the energy of the queen of swords, which is having more a clarity, surety of direction in your life. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I had to plug in the phone. So let me look at this. Your heart. There's a lot of uh, purple in this particular card. So I feel like um, it could have something to do as well with your third eye and uh, really following your intuition and your heart, um, opening that up and having a clearer perspective. And she has that um, bird hat thing on her third eye as well. It's kind of drawing her toward listening more to her intuition. So your intuition is calling you to a balance of this moving forward in your life and standing still in uh, time as you do that. So the third one, the challenge, challenge that you're facing in this situation of abundance is the page of cups. Okay, so uh, she's a, you know, a mermaid uh, sitting on a conch shell, uh, holding a bowl, which is kind of like steaming. Uh, she's underwater uh, with a lot of uh, light surrounding her. And so, you know, you're the thing that is uh, maybe keeping you from where you need to go is kind of just um, not accepting this gift that's being offered to you. So the Page of Cups is, you know, somebody coming to you and offering um, this cup, you know, this uh, cup of emotions and emotional clarity, emotional insight. And so, you know, it could be like we were talking about how your job doesn't have as much creativity as it should. And sometimes it's how we're looking at the job. You know, we're not using all of the pieces to create that creativity. So the same thing here, you know, she, you are not accepting all of the pieces in your life to make this job more meaningful. So it could be that the job's just as meaningful as it can be or just as far along as you can get. Um, or it could be, you know, that you need to move on, 
or it could be that the same job can be much more fulfilling and abundant uh, when you start bringing more creativity and love into uh, into what you're doing. So let's take a look a little bit more at the uh, the heart. Okay, so we have the uh, the Four of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, so some of the things that your heart is calling you to is this this card is the card of rest, and you can see her resting here, you know, holding her sword, not fighting her battles. Instead, she's resting. She's resting in this beautiful environment with the flowers. And yet, she has all these other swords in her head. So, she's thinking too much. So, I've kind of come to the realize that, realization that, you know, the typical four of swords lady is uh, laying there, or, you know, man or lady's laying there with all of their um, armor still on. They're still armored, ready for battle. So again, they've, they've stopped fighting and they're doing some resting and healing. They really haven't. You know, it's it's when we get the energy of the star card that we're really bringing that um, healing into ourselves. And so these, these swords, these thoughts, uh, these things are kind of blocking that full healing effect. And so your heart is calling you to a greater sense of healing in your life. And, and also, as you do that, you'll be able to, um, you know, see more clearly into the distance and bring more of this um, happiness into your life and the connectedness and togetherness. So, um... I hope that this reading has been helpful so far. Let's take a look at the uh, Whispers of Love um, Oracle for a message for the water signs. So we put Reiki energy into the deck. Be authentic. I swear I get the same cards constantly. Um, the last one I got about, you know, loving deeply and then this one being authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So, uh, water signs, you are being called to both be your authentic self in your relationships, in your life to help you have more financial abundance. And that can have to do with this, you know, authenticity in this job. That either you're in a job that you can't be authentic in or you're seeking a job that not only can you be authentic in, but you can have um, bring more of these features of yourself into it. Or, and, you know, maybe even the own job. And the other thing is, you know, being allowing other people in your life to be authentic. And so, you know, truly um, knowing yourself and who you are. Uh, will help the other people around you be able to be themselves and know who they are. And that, um, you know, be be truthful, be vulnerable, be honest that, you know, decisions that you made have led you to the place that you are right now. But in doing that, you know, by being authentic about that, you'll help other people as well as, as yourself in their authenticity. And so let's take a look for our final thought uh, from the Abraham Hicks. Uh, this was the, from that last reading, the air signs. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, Abraham Hicks uh, wellness deck and a message about uh, financial abundance. Okay. So we are drawn to... I can always reach for a thought that feels better. And so you can see this hand reaching toward the sun, toward the happiness. And the cloud wants to be in the way, but you can be reaching past that. 
Um, your decision to reach for a thought that feels good is a powerful decision for it serves you in many ways. The better feeling thought reverberates within you, opening passageways to well-being that reach far beyond this one good feeling thought. So the more we practice reaching toward the good feeling thoughts, the more good feeling thoughts we'll have in our life and the higher we'll be flying you know, above the clouds and the closer to the sun. And so reaching higher, reaching better. Um, it's like Abraham Hicks says, you know, um, depression is a really low uh, level disc, as they call it, to be riding on. You know, but one of the ones up from that are anger. And so, you know, helping to release our, our depression, we might go into anger long before we actually go into joy and happiness. And so there are these different, you know, the path that we can follow toward the happiest thought. So your abundance this week uh, will be helped a lot by uh, truly feeling and expressing and longing for a happier thought than you have even now. Okay, so thank you for coming to the Reading Water Signs, and I will see you next week.